Fire signs, we are gathered here today, my friend, for your tarot card reading. Channeling some messages with the everyday witch tarot. Have my Moonology Oracle deck with me, as well as my Romance Angels. So we'll get some additional clarification, see what the universe has in store for you today. What we're channeling through the divine. Some tips here, some advice. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. Grounding me today, we have two of cups. Hmm, maintaining a relationship here. Someone's coming towards you with an offer. Two of cups. Getting they wanting to seal a deal with you here. And then we have four of cups. Hmm, so you may be refusing this energy. <laughs> Grounding two of cups, and then what comes out is the four of cups. The eight of cups. This is like multiplication here. You're trapped in your thoughts about something. You don't have time for emotions here. Could be insecurities here. Queen of Pentacles. Dealing with the Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo here. Someone very abundant. Uh, could be dealing in nursery, or this could be some type of uh, doctor I'm getting. Mm, some type of financial advisor or professor here. This is a feminine energy. Interior decorating, of course. Could, we, could be a child involved. Pregnancy as well here. Typically is what you get with the Queen of Pentacles. Mm, someone very abundant though. A business owner here. We have Page of Pentacles. So this person has come off their high horse to experience an immature moment here with you. They're wanting to uh, invest in you or maybe they've been dealing in some type of uh, new type of financial investment. They could be very um, traditional, but they're experiencing a new type of new type of abundance. Could be uh, stock market investing, could be cryptocurrency or forex trading. Is a blueprint here or some type of uh, amateur architect. We have judgment here, the Pied Piper. So the universe is stepping in here to gain, to grant you clarity or to move and shift. Uh, what am I getting here? Your emotions or your finances here. So the universe is providing you with a second opinion. Hmm. We get the hangman here, Pisces energy. Definitely a um, an, orth an unorthodox approach or an unorthodox perspective into a situation here. Again, maybe it be, it's probably something that you've never done before that you're trying for the first time. Could be a holdup here. Judgment with the hangman. Strength. Three major arcana coming out. Back to back to back. Uh, judgment, the hangman, and strength. Could be dealing with the Pisces or Leo. Needing to show confidence in this situation here. Scared money don't make no money. Money. Mm, there's a lot of potential here. Could be your ancestors um, trying to help guide you in this situation here. The eighth message is the Queen of Wands. Very athletic individual, very outspoken individual, very sexually attractive individual. Could be some type of motivational speaker, uh, motivational speaker or guru involved in finances. The Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Some type of motivational, fi uh, motivational financier is what I'm getting here. Hmm. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Investing. Uh, this is typically your boundaries. This is setting yourself up to um, harvest um, potential finances in the long run. Gardening here. Maintaining your stability here. This could even be note taking or writing a book or something like that. And then we're getting a page of cups. Someone is learning something new. This could be some type of muse. So you are teaching someone about finances or someone is teaching you about finances here. This is typically an offer of love, but with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles here, this has something to be. Is, this has to be something about inspiring someone uh, to upgrade their finances here. Could be a relationship coach, a life coach, some type of financial coach, or something like that here. 
to help you seven of pentacles garden or look back on what you've done so far to help to help you continue to grow but if page of cups is typically my muse could be some type of crush that someone has on you and maybe you have a crush on someone could be a copycat as well typically when women really love a man they copy his um, actions or copy the things that he does here uh, what do we have major arcanas yeah two of cups a relationship here we have judgment here we have the hangman Pisces strength Leo Queen of Wands court card Leo Sagittarius Aries Queen of Pentacles Capricorn Taurus Virgo page of cups some type of new endeavor here uh, an older soul learning to do something new here getting uh, recycling efforts let's see what the romance angels has to say why am I getting eight of swords bro? this could be confusion or apprehension again sometimes you can't teach an old dog new tricks People get caught up in what they're used to doing, so they don't like to uh, experience new things. And that sometimes a company can go under when a CEO doesn't want to um, try out new things. That's what the channel message is. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. Healing family issues. So this could be legacy or passing down a company or a business or something like that. Dealing in legacy and lineage here. Queen of Pentacles could be looked at as a pregnant individual here. The strength is the ancestors passing down knowledge through the ages. Passion here. Could be family or a new relationship here, definitely. Mm, I'm getting... <laughs> I don't typically get LGBTQ energy in my readings, but we have Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, both female energies. Judgment, the hangman, a hold up here. Someone experiencing a same sex um, relationship here for the first time. It could be that's someone's story. So, multiple stories here. What else are we getting here with the romance angel? Playfulness. Yeah. More playfulness here. Being convinced to do something outside of the norm here. The pi piper here with judgment. The hangman here with confusion or daydreaming here. Page of Cups, the Muse, Queen of Wands, very strong sexual energy here. Four of Cups, trying to refuse the situation, but being confused. Eight of Swords. Could be an artist or a painter, maybe a dancer as well. Music should be involved in the situation, but I'm not too sure here. Take or leave the message as it comes and goes. All right, fire signs, let's see. We have emotions are running high here. Hmm. Supermoon. We have a new romantic cycle approaches. New moon in Libra. <laughs> experiencing new love here. We're experiencing something new for the first time here. Again, could be a same-sex relationship. A personal issue reaches resolution here. Hmm. This entails your personal visions, your personal truths, your personal religion. So yeah, something's being tested at this time. There is an unnatural situation here. I'm not. If it, I'm not sure if it's an unnatural situation in regards to love, finances, spirituality, your physicality, your romantic situations. But definitely want to weigh your options out here. There's definitely options. Um, Stagnancy we get here with the hangman and the eight of swords. Show bravery here. We have the strength. Mm. And that's all I have for you here today. Seven of Pentacles, boundaries in regards to your finances. For a fire sign? Hmm. Like, share, comment, subscribe, add value to the channel as we continue to grow. Catch you in the next one. Peace.